Hello, my name is Carissa, and today I'll be showing you how to make an APA 7 figure using Excel. In this case, we have a line chart example. The, this is all hypothetical data. There are two groups that completed three trials. So our dependent variable is response time for each of the trials, and this would be a repeated measures subject design. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to do is create a table with our summary information. So we have group one and group two. And group one and group two completed all three trials. So we have trial one, trial two, and trial three. And then we'll go ahead and fill in this information here. So each of these cells would be filled with the average of the row and the column. So the average of group one and trial one would go here. So we'll do average trial one for group one. And then we'll do the same thing for group two equals the average of group two for trial one. And then we can just highlight and drag these boxes over to get the averages for trials two and trial three. So now we're actually going to plot this table that we just made with the means for each group by condition. And we'll go ahead and select insert and then we'll select the uh, line chart. So this is the chart that Excel gives us automatically and it is not APA by default. And so that's where we need to make some modifications. So first things first, we're going to delete this title because APA figures do not have a title within the chart. And we'll also delete these horizontal lines because APA figures do not have horizontal lines. And I'm gonna drag this legend up so it's actually in our plot. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and make the font black, make it slightly bigger. Excel defaults to like a gray font. So I'm gonna do the same for the, um, on the axes as well. Okay. So now let's go ahead and make sure our, we have an X and Y axis in black. Right now we have a X axis in light gray. So we'll go ahead and select, um, just click here. And that'll bring up a menu on this uh, side over here. And by selecting, so what we wanna change is the line. So right now the line is light gray, so we can change it to black. And let's make the width equal to one. And so now we have a nice X axis line. And we'll do the same thing for that Y axis as well. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and add um, Y axis and X axis tick marks. And we can just select the tick marks tab and we're gonna add major on the outside. And then we'll do the same thing for the Y axis. go uh, tick marks and then major outside. Great, so now we have our x-axis and our y-axis tick marks. The next thing that we're going to do is add our titles. So let's go ahead and select the x-axis here, double click it and it'll open up uh, these options up here. We're gonna click add chart element, axis title, and then let's add a primary horizontal axis title. So we're gonna go ahead and make this trial number. And let's highlight that and make sure that it is size 12 and black, but also in APA 7, our X and Y axes um, labels need to be bolded. So we go ahead and bold that. We'll do the same thing for the Y axis, add chart element, primary vertical, and we're going to put response time, which is our dependent variable. It's in milliseconds. So we'll add that. Again, highlight the title, make it size 12, black font, and bold in. Okay. So now we're actually going to uh, change the color and the markers just to kind of um, showcase some of the options that we have in Excel. 
So we go ahead and select this top line and make sure it's highlighting all of them when it clicks it. So it's right now we're selected on the markers um, and we'll go to fill and let's make, so this is line. There's a line in marker tab. So if we go to marker, then we can change the color of the marker to, um, let's do gray, but then also make sure you change the border of the marker. Otherwise the border will still be in blue. Okay. And now we can also change the shape of the marker by clicking built in and let's change it to a square. We can make it slightly bigger too. Great. Um, and we can now change the line so that it matches our marker. Right now our markers are gray and our line's blue. So we'll go line and let's select the same shade of gray. And so now we have a nice um, line with uh, gray square markers and make them slightly bigger. Okay. So now with the second line, we can again, let's change it to black, but I could also change the dash type. So uh, there's a variety of different options, which is really nice when you have, you know, multiple different groups that you're trying to differentiate between. Changing the dash type is an easy way to visually show that information. And then we can also change the marker. So let's change it so the marker matches um, the line, I'll make it in the color black. And then we'll also make it slightly bigger. And there we go. Now we have a nice APA um, seven plot. So the next thing that we can do is to copy this and then we can paste it into our Word document. So now we have our APA figure here. Um, and per APA guidelines, this is where we would input our figure. Say it's figure one, make this bolded. And for the title of this, we could say something like response time across, um, three trial conditions. And note that this is um, in italics and it's in uppercase, whereas the figure is bolded, but it's not in italics. And then below our figure, we can add a note. So note is in italics. And then after that, we could say, um, further explain what's happening in this, uh, in this plot. So we have um, response time in milliseconds across three trials between two groups. And then we could further explain what's happening here, whether you know the trials took place over the course of three days, what the trials were actually, what the task was, all of that sort of information. This is a, um, an exemplar of a title and note, but this is just to show what the formatting should look like. Um, thanks for watching.